here with Martin. Hi, Martin. Hi, nice to meet you all. Uh, we're going to play our first game today in the Kashiwa tournament for Wama Renaissance. And please go through your list, mate. What do you got? So, I got uh, two units of Strange Anger Notes, yep. uh, one unit of Blood Letters yep. with uh, my Demon Print General, which is small, so it can join your unit. Yep. I'm playing cool Gen 2. Yep. Thank you, yeah. I think you know where it's coming from. Yeah. <laughs> I did, it's not me that won it, I just bought it from someone that won it. <laughs> So I'm playing also five gargoyles that are not skirmish, and uh, I have a, a special character, Scylla and Fingrim. Yes. Uh, yes. My army is pretty small, but it's how it's, uh, how it is when you play demons. Well, that's right. When you play chaos demons, especially those juggers, you're really nasty. Okay, so for me, I'm just taking the Goblin of Force. So I've got three centrals, level four wizard, uh, with his warrior familiar. Okay, there's a warrior familiar there too. Okay. Uh, Skarsnik Gobbler, that's my general, with a battle standard here, standard, boss, musician, 30 Night Goblins with spears and shields, we've got a uh, Goblin Light Chariot, Goblin Light Chariot, and Giant, and on the flank here, uh, the 10 uh, all fighters with musician, standard, and our mission today, like our scenario for the first game that we're playing, is raid the enemy camp. So basically, the, the, the player who has the most amount of troops in their enemy's deployment zone wins the scenario. So we start first. Uh, so minus of one because yeah, I get my choice. Yeah, you get my choice. That's right. Yeah. So four. I need, I need a friend five or six. No. Okay. So you decide to start first, or you want me to start first? No magic first turn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can play no magic first turn. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll let you go first. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're just going to do like a post round. So we just finished our movements for both and did our turns basically. So this is the end of the first first uh, first round, first turn. Uh, so Martin uh, moved all these units up to here, and then in my turn I moved my Night Goblin up, releasing the, the fanatics. He rolled a three, terrible. I think he rolled a seven and a nine for them. So basically, it's going to stop him from. I think he, I think we're just discussing before. I think Martin has to charge the frenzy against them in a moment, in his turn. Uh, the, the, the wolf chariot just spun off its side to make a counter charge. The giant's over here just to protect this side of the flank. The chariot's over here as well. Moved nine inches, they moved up 18 inches on that side there. And no magic for turn one. That was part of the turn rules. And now we'll go over turn two. Okay, so we're just going to do it turn by turn. So then Martin just played his turn. And we just finished the magic phase. So Martin, what happened, mate, in this turn? So what happened? First, I had to declare a uh, charge because I'm frenzy with my demon friends. And I have to go through his fanatic. He killed me uh, three blood letter during that, yeah. during that turn. Then I was able to charge his troll and I made nine moves. But he was able, able to regenerate six wounds out of those three. Yes, so, beautiful. Love it. Then I was able to charge it, chariot, <laughs> which yeah. failed his fear. Test. So it has to flee, flee away. and yep. uh, me I have to, char to stop my charge in the middle of it. Yep. Then my Scylla was able to charge through two fanatics yep. and he issued a challenge to me where I killed his uh, well, main boss. champion and boss, small boss. <laughs> yeah. But because I'm uh, unbreakable, uh, his yeah. unit is stuck and yeah. I'm, st I'm still here. Then during the magic phase, I decided to use my item magic uh, destroyer of spell and I destroyed his hand of God. Yes! Is that a special scroll? He can't destroy it anymore in that party. Yep. And then, because he attacked me with his order, which is a magic item, it's a bound spell. 
and yeah. he decided to target with Carnix my the, uh, like the, the color of corn, is it? Yeah, the rule, the specific rule of Scylla is like if it successfully yeah. save a spell uh, on a, a yeah. spell, a spell on a four plus, plus. Yeah. the spell is destroyed. Yeah. So his prodder is not destroyed. So we, we think the prodder now is just useless, it's just a regular prodder. Yeah. Uh, no, ma no bound magic in it. But then, then he had another <laughs> bound magic item. I'm full of tricks here. Yeah. yeah. With that uh, Chaman Goblin. Yep. And he did very average roll. <laughs> and he was able to kill three more uh, blood yeah. tails by targeting it. What was that uh, bound spell? It's called a, the Doomfire Ring. So it has three uses 2d6 strength 4 hits. And I rolled seven hits but only wounded three guys. And so three guys died. And yeah, that was be because that. I am, it's a magic attack and as a demon. I have no save versus Yeah, so it's fine. It. Okay, so that was end of Martin's turn, and we're going yes. to my turn too. My phase, and basically the the trolls held up. They they rege uh, regenerated enough to keep one guy in it. He's only got um, he's got two wounds left. This guy here. So, but I'm pretty sure he will inflict three wounds on his turn, first turn, and you know I think he's dead. But we'll see how he goes. We might might be lucky. Might hold him up. Um, and then these guys, the one over here, the giant died. <laughs> uh, I rolled. I, I, I can only hit him with the club. I can't jump up and down because he's not a human-sized uh, regiment. So I did that roll one and caused the wound. Then Martin saved his saving throw. And then the chariot did no wounds. And I did two wounds. I did two wounds. One with the goblin. One the goblin. Yeah, one, one, uh, one <laughs> goblin caused the wound. Thank you. Thank you. The giant caused the wound. And that's right. And the giant, that's right. The, the giant caused the wound. But the giant uh, died after the attacks from the juggernauts here. He fell over. He fell on top of them. And then they got initiative six, so they can't get affected by that anyway. They could dodge out of his out of uh, the way of the template. The chariot also died. That, that resolved in them, overrunning them and charging the flank of my goblins here, which is not really good. Um, uh, I think that's it. We survived the challenge with uh, Skarstick and Gobbler. They accepted the challenge for Skylar and he inflicted uh, two wounds on Gobbler and Gobbler. I think Skarstick inflicted one wound on you yes, after taking his, his uh, eight strength with his uh, ma uh, potion of strength. But unf unfortunately, I fluffed it with two ones on that roll, so I inflicted one wound on Skylar because he failed his uh, saving throw. Um, uh, but everything's set up for oh, in the magic phase. I didn't have any power to cast any spells, but I got the got off the Doomfire Ring, killing another five five uh, bloodletters. So I'm really happy about that. And they're about to charge into the magic mushroomed uh, <laughs> yeah. fanatic, which would be even better. Okay, guys, so that's it for all my turn. We'll go into Martin's turn okay, so three. That basically ends our game. Uh, it goes to a major victory to Martin. So well done, Martin. Okay, with his his uh, <laughs> corn coloured corn because they just rampage through the, the the juggernauts. Just were just on a rampage and they just cleaned up my unit. I failed and broke because I had minus eight. And the leadership's nine. So, but Martin allowed me to do the double one snake eyes if I got it, but I didn't. So they fled. They caught up with me. They destroyed me. And I think I would have been destroyed here because I would have fled back into them as well anyway. So, either case, but uh, Gobbler put two wounds on him, so only one wound left is Skylar. And I was happy about that. We didn't get to see the the the, uh, the golden demon into combat, which is a shame. Uh, and there's some there's some, yeah there's some rule queries about that as to how that happens. But at least in the magic phase, the doom bolt, uh, doom doom what's it called doom fire ring, managed to kill another five heap of those guys and just just and uh, that's right then the fanatic that's right the the magic uh, mushroom guy cleaned them all up. I think about nine wounds on or something like that. So that was nice. That was quite satisfying. But overall, it's really fun. But then you know Martin would score 
one, two, three for those against my one over there. So it's a major victory. So, so congratulations, Martin, and good luck with your second game, mate. Yeah. Seven, two. You have to be totally to get here. So, we're going to write it. Go for it, mate. Go for it. Not go away. Go for it. <laughs> go for it. Go for it. <laughs> okay, so I yeah. have a very poorly painted army. I have some hobgoblin wolf riders over here. Five hobgoblin wolf riders. Then here we have 20 hobgoblin archers. And then 19 chaos dwarf blunderbusses. Plus our general, who is a level three sorcerer with his familiar. Then over here, another five wolf, ra wolf riders. Then some goblin, uh, orc slaves rather, with a chaos dwarf hero, bare chested. And then over here, 10 hobgoblin wolf riders and an earth shaker cannon on the hill there. Okay. Nice, mate. Okay, that's good. How about you, Josh? What have you got? <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Here's so, what I made earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Just as before, I haven't changed. So, 10 Wolf Riders, level 4 Shaman, Familiar, Warrior Familiar, Scarsing Goblin joining the Troll Unit, uh, 2 Chariots, Goblin Chariots, uh, Giant, and then 30 Night Goblins with the Battle Standard Bearer, Standard Energy Charm, Boss, and that's it. So, very, very. And we're playing, we're playing the um, take the field scenario. So, basically, it's got going on quarters. So, it uh, looks like Nick is primed to take the scenario. We've got to move, move, move. I'll get my magic to do something better to stop him or kill him or whatever. So, see how we go. We'll see about that. Yeah. Uh, roll the four, you roll the two. It means that I will get to choose who goes first. I'm actually, I'm actually going to go first. Now, are we doing, we're going to do magic from the turn one? Yes, please. Okay, good. All right. So, I was hoping you going to say that. So, yeah, I think I'll go first. Yeah. Just so, just so I can slow you up before you get here. Let's see about that. All right. Okay, so we finished our first round. Like, Nick had his first turn. Sorry, I, I had my first turn. I moved my, my chariots up, my trolls up, my giant. They stayed where they were. Everyone passed their wire tests. Uh, I used Hand of Gork in the first magic phase, moved them up, got the Fenex out. And one hit his unit, killed three guys, one over there. And the magic mushroom, madcap mushroom guy, got shot down by the blunderbusses in Nick's turn. Nick's movement was that he marched his walls over here because he can he can uh, disregard infantry with his cavalry with the, and he moved his other wolf unit over there. Now they're actually hobgoblins on there, aren't they? They're invis invisible hobgoblins. They're painted in clear coat. And then uh, that, and then magic phase, I went to cast Hand of Gork. Uh, Nick uh, then used Drain Magic and that ended the magic phase, so nothing to note there. So then we go to uh, my turn two. That was the end of and turn two. So, and that was for. Was that your turn two, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yeah, Andy, that, that was the f complete turn two. So, no hand hand combat to speak of. We've had some magic jewels back and fro. Now we've got Scarstick with this um, Sorcerer's Curse, which is quite a nasty one. 2v6 under his strength until they can dis uh, dispel it. So that can be there's gonna be something I need to contend with. I need to get my wizard. It's a big mistake I made having my my shaman not within twelve of anything. 
So I decided not to do any spells, not to take a magic mushroom. Just keep the magic mushroom using his um, his uh, ring of uh, Doomfire ring, but then he dispelled it again. So Nick's been really good with the spelling. It's been fantastic. He's dispelled every single Prodder shot that I've had with that bound item as well. So magic-wise, I've only got that hand of Gork off so far, and uh, that's it. But we're having fun. And he's got his wolves down here now, which I need to maybe just... I should have shot them with that, actually. The Doomfire Ring might be a good one for the next one, just to get him out of my my deployment zone here. Out of that zone. Uh, but it looks pretty much set up for my turn three to make some charges and make things happen. Might have to charge these guys here with these goblins here and the trolls. They're still going to be out of range unless I unless I um I need to do it in my turn, take him out and then charge him next turn. I don't know. See how we go. The giant will be in range anyway, so we'll make things happen there. All right, guys, that's it for turn two. We're going to turn three. So that's the end of round three for both of us. And I think the biggest, the, the highlights was that Nick used eruption and destroyed my stone stone trolls in one foul sweep with total power. Then he had to total power again because we have to reshuffle the deck, the bastard. Then he killed both of my chariots because they don't get a save against eruption, destroying those bo though both. So they're gone. Yeah, so it was pretty wicked. Um, he came down here. He, he had a... Um, uh, animosity with them, they couldn't move. My shaman is not within 12 of anything, he's run out of mushroom, magic mushrooms, and his doomfire ring got dispelled, so that was the third charge. That's him just dispelling stuff now when he can. Uh, so Nick's pretty much got this quarter, uh, unless I'm in it, unless he's gone too far in, which would be great. Uh, and um, the these guys rallied at the end there in in uh, next turn, uh, and the combat's still ensuing. We're both we're drawn twice now in two rounds. We've drawn, but he did kill my boss, so I'll take that that guy out of there. Uh, and that's it so far, guys. So we're going now to turn four. Open goblins. Anything this time round? Yeah, the Ushaki really cannon did nothing this time. You had a big win the first game, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It just it killed yeah, just everything. I should have placed it closer to the action, I think. Anyway, guys, we're going to finish up today because we're at the end of turn four and we're just going to call it because it's nearly 5.30. We're going to go to the local bar and have some drinks and food and have a bit of banter down there. So thanks again, Nick, for the game, mate. Really appreciate it. I was wrong. Uh, the first two games, you were Chaos Dwarf Army. So hopefully next time we'll see some Hobgoblins on those walls, get some yes. armies, units painted, the Earth, Earth Shaker Cannon. Uh, immortalized in brass or something like that, maybe, <laughs> yeah. and red. But um, overall, been a really good game. Thanks, mate. Okay, so the, the totals are in, and let's go through it, mate. Let's go through it, Mark. Who who is the overall winner here for today? Mine's number one. Mine's number one. Corn. There you go, mate. Corn colored corn. Very good. Savage orcs with Sam. Well done, mate. In third place, tied for third place is Nick Mole with Zeech and with Justin. Is Nick still here? I think Nick's gone. Okay. 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 Nick's gone already. Third place is Nick. Fourth overall. Nick. Second time you play these Chaos Wars. Well done, Nick. Awesome. Well, unfortunately, there's no prizes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next time, hopefully, we'll have some other prize support. But, uh, but anyhow, guys, thanks very much for coming. Let's go and get a get a beer and everything and celebrate. Okay.